I think we're transferring from the industrial age into the information age, but I also think it can't, it's not going to be 100% because you do need to have both. But I think the, the information age is going to drive a whole new form and a new version of the industrial age. Something that, that it's going to be like the industrial revolution all over again. You can't have just idea workers and, and you know, thought workers, but there'll be a new type of indus industry. And that new type of industry we don't can predict and think about yet because it hasn't happened yet. But the ideas that are spurring online are going to breed that. You know, what spurred the industrial revolution was a couple of people sitting around in a dimly lit room talking about a business. Right now, talking online to millions and millions of people are going to create businesses that are way better than the ideas that were spurred in the original industrial revolution. So this new industrial revolution is going to be way more uh, powerful and way more widespread than anything that anyone can do near us. What excites me, what excites me is a couple of things. One is getting kudos from people around the world. We probably get about 50 to 60 emails a day from people around the world just telling us how inspirational our website is. And that makes me feel good because that's, you know, I feel like, you know, we've, we've found our brand, we've found our niche, and, uh, you know, having that whole experiential website at loungeser.com is, is uh, really capture you know, who we are. That really excites me and, and landing new business excites me. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I love what I do. So it's for me it's like I, it's not a job. And uh, there's great satisfaction in winning someone over and winning their confidence and uh, say, hey, I'm hiring you, I believe in you and then let you market me online. That's exciting. I see Lounge Lizard expanding into the product market, the online product market. Right now, we're mostly a service company, but I'm striving to drive us forward into the online product market, where we actually produce the products that people use, instead of developing the products that other people actually have. So when, when, when clients come to us, we're developing products for them. We want to develop products for us, for other people to use. Hey, thank you for your time. Hey, thanks I really for appreciate it. Man. Hey, hey we've pleasure. been friends for how long? A long time. Long 15 time. Go years. Way back, way back. Now I'm finding out that yeah. he's freelancing at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> In the Clue Train Manifesto, they state that the world is now becoming one big, giant global conversation. Corporations that are not involved with that conversation and listening to what the consumer wants are going to be left in the dust. I hope you learned a lot today on Liquid Leadership. Once again, I'm Brad Zalas, and it's been an honor to be your host. Thank you and good night. For more information on Brad Zalas, his coaching and speaking engagements, go to www.bradzalas.com or just Google Brad Zalas. We look forward to hearing from you. I'm Twittering. I'm Rich Kern. I'm a senior designer and I use Windows. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, that's where I was going with that. My name is Rich Kern. I'm a senior designer and I'm a PC. You wanna go? Visit Mojave.com. Wait, 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 wait. What? Did I'm you sorry. Say my name is Rich Kern, I'm a senior designer, and I'm a PC. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Wait, Such no, he's gone. I'm gone. I can't talk about Sharon with his bad last thing, because she's like, I don't want to do this. I'm like, I don't want to do it. I can't talk about anything. Rich, 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 Rich.